Okay, so question nine of the final exam review. We're looking at a drag question. And, and you can sort of tell that through the code here is a terminal speed. So it doesn't explicitly state that this is a drag question, but the concept of terminal speed is a drag concept. So it mentions that it doesn't explicitly state it include air resistance, but you can't reach terminal speed unless you have air resistance. So this is a drag uh, question. So um, I'm also going to, so because it's terminal speed, we should also be thinking about um, high Reynolds number. We don't typically ter talk about, uh, well, we assume that objects reach terminal speed very quickly at low Reynolds number, um, but it, I guess should probably maybe a better question would state that the, the balls are sort of large and moving in a uh, high enough speed, but I'll, I'll make those assumptions for this question. So, um, what we'll have here is that a terminal speed the key concept is that the magnitude of the drag force equals the magnitude of the weight force um, at terminal speed. And that's why the object is not, no longer uh, accelerating, because the upward drag will equal the downward weight, so the object in equilibrium and will move a constant speed once this occurs. And the drag A equation at high Reynolds number is one half rho C D A V T. Uh, assume V T is because the speed here is equal to M times G. Where rho is the density of the fluid. C D is the uh, drag coefficient. And uh, A is the cross-sectional area. V T is the thermal speed. And M is the mass is acceleration due to gravity, and we're looking for the ratio of the terminal speed of ball A to that ball B. So, um, if there are, you know, since both are spheres, they'll have the same drag coefficient, rho, they're in the same uh, fluid, they're in air, uh, so those quantities are going to end up cancelling. But uh, we're going to try to find the ratio of the terminal speed, so let's write this equation in terms of Vt. Let's get to that, that point first. So, Vt, we're going to take the square root of both sides. Multiply both sides by 2, divide both sides by rho, c, d, and a. So we end up with a term of 2mg divided by rho, c, d, a. So if I then think about the ratio of vt, I'm doing ratio of vta to vtb. So this will be the square root of 2 times the mass of a times g over rho c d area of a all divided by the square root of two times the mass of b times g divided by rho c d a b so we can cancel a lot of uh, common terms here cancel out that two we can cancel out the g we can cancel out the rho and we can cancel out the drag coefficient again they're both spherical balls so they will have the same uh, drag coefficient so we're really looking at a ratio of the mass over the area to the square root of the mass of B over the area of B. So we can write this really as the square root of the mass of A times the A of B over the mass of B times the area of A. And now we're sort of, yeah, so we're down to that part and thinking um, what we have to do here uh, to solve. So we don't, we have to figure out what are their relative masses and what are the relative cross sectional areas. So this is some of a more of a challenging piece of this question um, that we have to consider. So they're two solid balls, which means that they're, they're yeah, not hollow. Um, and they're made of the same plastic material. So that will allow us to hel hel help us solve for the masses and then one has a diameter D and the other has a diameter 2D and that will help us to solve for the areas. So to get the mass we're going to have to sort of consider the density. So they're both made of the same plastic. So I can write the density as mass over volume. So the mass is equal to rho times v, 
and this uh, we can write as the mass is equal to rho when it's a, it's a, a sphere, so the volume will be 4 thirds pi r cubed. So the mass is proportional to r cubed, which I can also state that the mass, if it's proportional to r cubed, the mass is also proportional to d cubed. So um, if ball B has a twice the diameter of ball A, it will have 8 times the mass of 2 raised to the power of 3. So it states that the mass of B is equal to uh, 8 times the mass of A. And I know the cross-sectional area of these balls is the area of a circle. So um, I know that the area of B will be 4 times the area of A. So again, that's coming from, if I write this separate here, the area is 4 pi r squared. So the area is proportional to r squared. So D has, which is also means that A is proportional to D squared. Because D and R are linear, they're related linearly. And so if I have a proportionality in coordinates and radius, the proportionality with the diameter is exactly the same. So if I double the diameter, I get four times the cross-sectional area. And if I double the diameter for a solid object where the density is constant and they're same, made of the same class, they have the same density, then I would have A times the mass. And now we can go back to our equation here to solve for this ratio. So VTA over VTB is equal to, so I'll leave everything in terms of A, so the mass of A, the area of B is 4 times the area of A, that's coming up from this equation here, I'll divide it by the mass of B, that's A times the mass of A, times the area of A, so those A's, the area of A will cancel, the mass of A will cancel, so that's the square root of 4 over 8, which is the square root of a half, which is about 0.71. Give you the correct ratio of their terminal speeds. So, pretty challenging question, invoking the uh, sort of conditions for terminal speed where the drag equals the weight. Lots of algebra here in the forming the ratio. To get the masses, you got to think about the density of the plastic and then scaling relationships with volume and mass and volume and mass with the diameter and then the area with the diameter also and then do your uh, finish your algebra to get the correct answer.